another lovely day out here on Pacific Pines Ranch. Today we are working on the final steps of the fourth container. So exciting to be able to drop that on the foundation relatively soon, or place that rather. So today we are working on the doors. So we are replacing the door gaskets and I think tomorrow we will install the glass panels. So that's what we're doing. So we have an intense two or three days ahead of us, try to get everything done and schedule the crane before this long stretch of rain is supposed to be here, but we'll see, maybe that will change. So little by little, working to achieve our dreams. A few years ago, we decided to quit the rat race and venture down a completely unfamiliar path in life. We sold almost all of our possessions, renovated a camper van, and toured the US looking for a piece of land to start our journey. After almost two years, we found our piece of paradise in the Pacific Northwest, and Pacific Pines Ranch was born. Follow along as we chase our dreams to build an off-grid shipping container home and to see our projects and adventures along the way. As we like to say on the ranch, the joy is in the journey. So we ordered new door gaskets because ours, the container is like, I think 17 years old or something like that. And the door gaskets are really just old. So we ordered new door gaskets and we've been refurbishing the retention strips because like as you can see these are some from the other container but they they can be a little bit damaged like this one right here as you see it's a little bit bent so you need to kind of straighten it out and kind of clean the rust off of it and stuff so these aren't the ones that we refurbished they're in another spot but they are the same and we have the new gaskets that we'll be putting on the door. First step we did to refurbish the door retention strips was remove any rust or sealant or paint that was on the strips with a wire brush. After we cleaned the retention strips, we needed to reshape them in a few areas where they were bent. So we used a steel mallet and a leftover C-channel to literally beat them back into shape. First step to installing the new door gaskets is to drill holes into the gasket where the rivets will be installed. These holes will line up with the holes on the door retention strips and the rivets will hold everything in place. We used a central pneumatic rivet gun to install the rivets and I highly recommend this tool if you're using stainless or large rivets or if you have a lot of rivets to install. Check the link in the description for the rivet gun that we're using. It was a pretty tight fit between the rivets and the retention strip and the door gasket, so we used a tiny socket and a hammer and lightly tapped the rivets into place.
Just the, the two that I did. Right. See, I will put one down. Okay. You know what, though? I would do one here because it's kind of poofy right here. Uh, I'm going to check the water and see. So we got the first two door strips installed. Now we need to do the other two for this door. And then we'll start to work on the next door. But the other, the next door only has three sides to the gasket. So only have to install three strips. It went really well. Don't know if we could do this without the hydraulic rivet gun. So thank you, Harbor Freight. People always hate on Harbor Freight, but they've always uh, pulled through for us on the end. Man. We finished just before dark, but door seals are on. Installation went well, got all of the door strips in, got all the rivets in, and yeah. So that took us about maybe like four and a half hours. Uh, it's just tricky sometimes to figure out what works best and everything. So. Yeah, everything went well, and tomorrow we will install the glass panels, so. <laughs> All right, up and at it, and today we are going to install these glass panels into the doors, the custom container doors. So, got all of what we need, all of our supplies right here, and uh, little by little, here we go. We left about a 3 4 inch lip around the door frame for the glass panels to sit against. So here we are applying double sided tape to the lip. Yeah, guide it maybe a little bit. Okay. You got it, you got it. Little More. Bit forward, keep going. A little bit to the left. Okay, inside. Uh, you're good. 
We used one inch glass panels for the door conversion. You can order any size glass panels at your local window or door shop. These panels cost $300 each. I'll include a cost breakdown at the end of the video. Also check the links in the description for the other glass door conversion videos. We got both glass panels in, into the door frames. Now we're just going around, removing the double-sided tape and setting everything up to do the sealant. Really lucky with winter this year. Another beautiful day out on the ranch. So today the silicone slash sealant master. It's me. Diane is going to finish up doing the the seals of the glass panels so we got the inside done and now he's just going around and doing the last final touches we used a marine grade sealant by chemlink to seal the glass panels into the frame this sealant is also a structural adhesive so it secures the glass panels in place we applied the sealant around the interior, the exterior, and between the glass panel and the door frame, so there's a solid layer of adhesive holding the glass panel in place. We've had several coastal storms over the years with winds ranging from 60, 70 plus miles per hour, and they have held up amazing over time. Beautiful. We used a newborn caulking gun to apply the sealant. This caulking gun is way easier to use than a standard caulking gun. It's way easier on the hands and that makes a big difference when you're applying multiple tubes. So highly recommend that. And also check the link in the description for the caulking gun. We used painter's tape to section off the areas where we applied the sealant. This helps make a nicer finish and minimizes some of the messiness.
And here is the final look before we place the container on the second level. As always, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on the ranch.